I'm worried about that plant right there. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's, it's your girl. Oh, oh thank you. It's your reader. <laughs> I'm so hard-headed. They like, always be trying to spray bug spray on me, but I don't like that. I don't like spraying stuff on myself. So. Me neither. I don't like Maya's trying to spray stuff on me. Um, so we out so here. So we can't get the mosquito bites. Yes, we I will be protected from the mosquitoes. Checking the garden. I put them um, on myself. But I also like want to tell you to catch us live tomorrow. We're going to be talking about how to challenge your kids and help them become self-motivated. Y'all say hi real quick. Hello. Don't be shy. Say hi. Come on in the camera. Wait, Maya. cute, cute. Put the camera <laughs> a little bit down. Bring it down. Put it over there. Put it all. Come down. on, Maya. Come over here and say hi. hi. Jazzy and Maya, we out here. Um, Move out. Move back. Checking the garden. We we had a little a little aphid problem that we are taking care of. Okay. Yeah. Bring it over here. I'm a little worried about this plant. This hey, one has worry, aphids on it. Yeah. Oh, that's why. Okay. It's dry. Exactly. Okay. I can so, Jazzy, hold that's on. Come over here first and show them. So, this is the graffiti cauliflower. Graffiti. And it had um, a look, look, cauliflower is forming. It had aphids on it. So, I separated, rinsed it down real good, separated it, um, and put it to, by itself. And I didn't want it to be drowned out, so I'm bottom bottom watering it. We didn't come out this morning yet, and look. So once we give it some water, it's gonna uh, do much better and perk up. But this is the first time I've ever grown this. I'm very excited. It's the uh, purple. It's called I'm calling it a purple cauliflower, but it's called graffiti cauliflower. Uh, I'm going to water it. Jackie said she's gonna hook it up right now, and I don't want this to keep happening because this stresses out the plants. So you gonna hook it up, Jess? Yeah! <laughs> Maya. <laughs> How y'all doing today? Don't forget to catch hey. us live tomorrow. We'll be talking about challenging our children and helping them become hey, self-motivated. That's what we do. We love it. We love it. So Jassy is so this this is this is where my little area. I put them here on top of the recycling bin. This one, uh, let's see, this is the broccoli. It has enough water. See, this broccoli head, this is my first time growing broccoli. It's got a broccoli head over here, you know what I'm saying? So I just, for aphids, they be hiding under the leaves. So I just be, yeah. You can see the leaf damage here from the aphids. So I rinse these jammies off and they fell down and i've been keeping it over here and i keep checking to see if there are any more but no nope, it's fine so we got to be careful so jazzy's doing a little bit of bottom watering and once they drink it up it's going to perk up <laughs> and over here i got um my other bin um i gotta put all them in pots that's what we're going to be doing the girl's going to be helping yep anywhere you see it's dry give some give it water I'm so happy that I have I have help, y'all, because uh, keeping this flowing myself is not easy, all right? So I got these plants that, again, I saw some aphids on them, so I, I water, actually, I watered the plants with a solution I made uh, with this thyme essential oil and also peppermint. I have some peppermint water. Let me check this. This one was... They, they gonna punish me. This one was right on the ground right here, just sitting by itself, because it has some aphids on it too. So let me look in the bottom. Yeah. So you're gonna have to use this. You're gonna have to use the sprayer to spray these aphids off this plant because this is my eggplant, and I don't want to be a problem. But you see it on the top bottom of the of the leaves, especially this one right here. It's got a lot. So, Jazzy, can you come here with the uh, spray? I'm gonna spray the bottom. It's five dollars a minute. That's why charges. <laughs> yeah, this is free. Give me this thing. All right. So I'm gonna spray. I'm gonna give it a hard spray. Oh, the aphids are on there. Oh yeah. Daddy. Mm. She's gonna help me. With what? It is not in my shoe. And oh, oh, no more aphids. They gone. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was spraying. I didn't show y'all. 
they going they they flow over there <laughs> so um that's generally how you can get the aphids off but you got to spray from the bottom because that's where the leaves that's where the bugs be at you spray you get them off and then you take care of the plant make sure the plant is uh is getting enough nutrients or water or sun whatever it needs whatever it's lacking when the plant is stressed that's when these bugs come but i've never had I, I do all organic gardening i've never had problems in my garden outside before with aphids this is my first time and i think because i started a garden in the house but i didn't really pay attention to it that much you know i'd be real busy y'all. i'm trying to get better at that and uh it wasn't really i didn't really take care of it like i should have and develop some aphids and the ones in that house and those same um containers that had the aphids in it um you know i treated it with neem oil but that same container uh is what i use for some of my plants and i think there were eggs in it too i reused some of the soil so big mistake never do that again but yeah i just sprayed this off and every day i'll just come and spray and check, keep checking when i don't see any at all then i'll repot this plant see it's stressed see the leaves right there it was it, it was soaking in too much water bottom water that's what happened so um, i'm letting it get sun i have it by myself and i sprayed the aphids off we'll see what happens thank you dear oh i was trying to just put it oh put it over the eight what's going on in, in this place what? Yeah. What's going over there? It's growing. It's growing? Nothing. It's growing by itself. That ain't nothing. I wonder how you... <laughs> Just, hey, we, can, we eat everything in our, in our garden. I wonder how people find out they can eat lettuce. And then we can eat beans and then someone doesn't taste that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, watch me on my scooter. Okay. No, no, no. She made a phone, Guys, not us. Guys, it's video I need. Oh, you're going to have to come over here. Come over here. Too much stuff over there. Too much going on. We got a lot going on. Yeah. So I want to show you some birds. The let's see. This one. This plant. This is a Japanese eggplant. Isn't she so pretty? But I'm really excited because we got a flower coming. We got a flower. First come flower, next come fruit. So I'm really excited about that. These arugula. And that's what we're going to be doing. I'm over here doing this. Y'all want to both of them. Um, that's, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, guys, we'll be look at my neat scooter. Guys, we need some water in these. Look at my neat scooter, guys. We need some bottom watering. So it's a delicate look balance. It's like I'm doing scooter, bottom scooter, watering, scooter. but I got to make sure I come out here and, and empty the water. Guys. So that it's not, guys, it doesn't get look soaked. Over look over there. Come on. Oh, a bug. No, I was trying to be about the bug, but I was just so you by scooter, but with that bug leaves. <laughs> I know that's right. Um, so yeah, so if that's I leave it in water it. too much, it stretches out the plants. Okay, and then if it doesn't get too much water, it dry, it stretches out the plants. So I'm working on a middle ground. Okay, with this, with these. You got to cut this lemon thyme down. Look how big it's getting. You got to get some more drinks. So many. We already cut it down and it's growing back. That's good, lemon thyme. All right. We've got, I'm using a tripod today. We've got, hi Mariah. Welcome. Hi. We've got seedlings here doing pretty good. I took them, they were doing the bottom watering, and I moved them over here so they could dry out. We got that watermelon seedling, the one of them. Okay, this basil starting to do its thing. Okay, and we got a couple of parsley. I love parsley. I love parsley. And my first ever scotch bonnet pepper over here. I'm really excited about this, but this is the only one that sprouted so far. I planted so many, but that's the only one that sprouted. And we got a rosemary over here. So, uh, yeah, I just, and I, oh, I love when that happens. So here we go. Another thing we're going to, we're going to be repotting like crazy. 
Look at all these peppers. Look. There's some peppers get ready to grow right here. Look at that. Look at that. These peppers are ready to grow. These plants are ready to grow peppers. Look, look, look in here. Look at that. All of those are peppers that's coming. Whoa! You see that? Oh my god! You see that? No way! Yeah, so I love need peppers. to be repotted too. I love peppers. What I didn't do too good, and look at this one. This one's ready to, the fruit is about to, the flower's about to come. Whoa, there's one right there. Here we go. Here we go. Flower, first come flower, then come fruit. So there's a pepper getting ready to come out of this one. Look at see it? Oh! Look at this. Broccoli. This is a, some, I think this is cucumber. Guys, go see me on my scooter. So this needs to be repotted. Go see needs me on to be my scooter, re guys. Potted. Maya, you should scoot up, down, up and down here. We'll record you, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, so the eggplant. Okay. This is already a big plant. It's doing beautifully. We've got some onions over here. Some lavender. I'm ready, guys. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It'll be more fast if you shoot over there. Yeah, but there's too many things there we're setting up. This is... Woo! <laughs> you good at that? I've been practicing a lot. All right. Ooh, she sure does. We walk around, walk around the block. She be flying. I'd be like, hey, stop right there. <laughs> this is where we're gonna we're gonna put the onions. We got some. Oh, we got a lot of uh, genetic matter when they. And actually, Jazzy, she went and trimmed around the garden, so we saved that. So we're going to be using that as we're planting into the ground for the first time. But we're using these cardboard books, boxes to plant things on. So we're going to put compost. We've got the dry matter, right? Uh, compost or so like kitchen scraps. And I got garden soil for the first time. I've never bought that before. And then we're gonna plant the onions in there and rosemary. We're gonna plant stuff in the ground that the groundhogs don't mess with. Like this time, the first time you're hanging out in the garden, the groundhog has not messed with it. Look at the flowers. Mm, look at the flowers, so pretty. So pretty. Mm, it smells so good, y'all. It smells so good. I love thyme. The oregano. See, the animals have not been messing with these herbs. So I'm really gonna plant herbs all around the borders. All right, so how you doing, sweetie? I know you've been through a lot. You had the little bugs and you take care of you. Jazzy gave you some bottom watering, so you should perk right back up. Oh, it's okay, little sweetie bum bum. <laughs> little sweetie bum bum. We, got, we still need more repotting to do. I'm so lucky I have help. Uh, so this is the lemon plant. It loves it here. It looks great. This is a watermelon. And this is an orange. It's a patio orange. Orange is my favorite fruit in the whole wide world. So this is a patio orange. A little patio tree. So that's doing good too. Okay. This is a grapevine. I heard it do the grapevine. It's getting taller and taller, so I'm gonna have to put some something up on a trellis. That's coming next, cause I've never grown grapes before, I've never grown oranges before, and I've never grown lemon before. I've always wanted to, and a blueberry, which loves it here too. It Hi, loves it here, it loves it here. So, yeah, I'm excited. Wait a minute. Look at me, Maya. Look at this strawberry, a bunch of strawberries coming. Look at that beautiful flower. I love it. I love it. And look at this one, Maya, look. Okay, I ate this Whoa. one. <laughs> I ate this one already. Look at this one. Oh, it's cool. So big, right? Yeah. The parsley loves it. And this little planter we did, a mixed stocky planter. The parsley loves it. It's the green onions. Or chives. Can Love I eat it. Any of this? <laughs> Jackie just be like, can I eat it? Right? I hear you, Jazz. This is sage. 
This is good. This is strong. I don't think they smell it first. Smell it first. We got some it rosemary like bacon. Oh, a like, armpit. What? Jazzy. Not she a trip. Like <laughs> oh. Like what? You got a bug on you? <laughs> I picked up some leaves and I picked up like two ants. <laughs> two ants? <laughs> You are right here. Okay. Oh, yeah, and over see. here, we got... Now, here's the thing. We got some dill you right here. One. This is all in this little planter. Okay, oh! You don't belong here. Uh-uh. Get on out. What? That's a weed. A weed. That's a weed right there. You Get out of here, weed. Mm, gotta pull you out. <laughs> oh, it's a little stubborn, ain't you? Don't fly by the fly. <laughs> a little stubborn, ain't you? Yeah, I gotta pull it out. It's just gonna take away... It's th these are all over my garden, y'all. Can I see? That's gonna break me. Who's gonna be here? Okay. Up here, I planted Dad, lettuce and one of them sprouted. Dad. So it's gonna be lettuce coming out of this thing. This old juice container. It's gonna be lettuce coming out of this thing. Right? Uh, so, yeah, it's doing good. And I'm trying to rotate it. If I can get behind here, we've got more strawberries. This needs room. Everything kind of clumped up together, looks like. I'm gonna move this pot out the way. But see, we got more strawberries. This thing is growing strawberries oh, like crazy. And you know what's so cool about that? I have more strawberry ah, plants. Go away, go away! <laughs> what's wrong? What's wrong? She, she said to come over here. She said to come over here and there's a bee over there. She didn't know. <laughs> You're right. She's like, go away, go away. You don't want that bee around that bee, huh, no, Maya? It's scary. I looked right at it. It was like black. It had a little yellow on it. It was so black. This lady was black. It's so yeah. You want your sister to, to save you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to definitely need Look to put that. this watermelon in the bottom in. water it system. It's, it's they were in this container. I took it's them out and I put them into yeah. cups. They're getting pollen for this yeah. plant. So they're doing they're good. Pollen. Basil, looking good. Loves pollen. it here. This is just a pot with a bunch of weeds. So we're going to clear this out so that the stars of the show can have pollen. their... The, <laughs> this got to go. We got it. So a couple of these pots, it's not doing nothing. It's going to get out the way. So that's Jesse. Um, I don't think we have. I don't think we have another one of these. But we need something. Oh, that's the compost. Okay, so the compost that we collected from when we cleaned the fridge yesterday, we're going to put it over there, and then we're going to take it, and we're going to use that to be bottom watering that same kind of le lettuce container we have in the house we're going to bottom water these uh watermelon plants before they dry out you're right yeah you got something high okay i got an eyelash high i was taking it out in the bathroom it wasn't coming this weekend y'all will not be earlier all these tomato plants there's a tomato that busted where there was a tomato this Okay. This is the so I, I really believe that this was it. They just busted right here. All the seeds dropped, and all these tomatoes grew. All these tomato plants. I think these are all going to be the the uh, tumble hey. tom tomatoes. I think they call yellow. They're so pretty and they tumble. So we're gonna have a bunch of those. I can't wait can for you the tomatoes to come so back. She can see mm -hmm. little little shorty doo wop. I remember we used to have a whole bunch of tomatoes and then. Okay. That's all they do is walk out here and eat them right off the plants. Wow. And y'all, I don't have a big backyard. This is, we just doing this in the backyard. So what I gotta find out what, I don't know what this is. There's something to eat in the little leaves here. And I don't think it's aphids because it's so big. But um, some of the plants. So this, this is a sweet potato plant mm -hmm. under here. It's a sweet potato plant. I've never grown a potato before. To tell y'all, I've never grown a potato before. So this is new. I'm going to have to add some more soil. And these tomato plants grew on their own. One, two. Then we have onions in here. So I'm going to pull these out. These are ready to be transplanted into their own little pots. And then I'll put them there. Oh, wait a minute. Is this another tomato? Look like another one. Look like another one. So we got a couple of tomatoes in here. This one I bought. This is the the girls gonna love this. They love eating cherry tomatoes. This is a small fruited tomato. <laughs> they love it. And then this little guy decided to just come up by itself. This one. This is a tomato plant. I didn't plant that. 
I didn't buy it either. This is my green bean plant. It's getting big. But again, I don't know what's eating the leaves. Probably a bird. You think so? Probably, because it's big. It's big um, bites into this. Maybe it is Wait, a bird. See. The bites. This is the, anybody know, let me know, because new garden. Wouldn't it bite from the top if it was a bird? Maybe it's some sort of bug. Or I don't slug. know, but I gotta figure out what it is. Or maybe, maybe the slug. But the, but oh, the plants seem to be these okay. Are, these are, yeah, these are probably um, bugs. Yeah. Uh, this is my curly parsley. Look how beautiful it is. It was starting to burn out from the sun. I put this for shading. Like we are. I got an idea from the internet, from YouTube, my little hangout spot to get some hula hoops from the Dollar Tree, and use that as a shading system. Uh, and I can't wait to try it. Look at this tomato going nuts. Look at it. Woo! I'm supposed to be pruning tomato. These tomato plants, y'all. I had that <laughs> plan, but I haven't started yet. Ah, uh, just do it, Sharita. I don't know. It's something about to me. It's something about taking, you know, taking it off. But I'll put it in water and let it root. Let me How tell do you grow them bananas if there's no seeds? Let me tell. Hmm, good question. Let me tell them a nightmare. Go ahead. So when I was sweeping, I had a nightmare, and 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 I was petting a squirrel, and then it tried to bite my leg. <gasps> Oh my gosh, then what happened? I put some honey, and he didn't like honey, so he he ran away. He did? And then what happened? I was angry at him. You so, were? So I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then I stepped on him. You stepped on a squirrel? And then I killed him. Oh my goodness. Oh, he bit me, he bit me. Yeah, that is Ew, a bit much. I was blood him. I'm glad that didn't happen for real. <laughs> In real life. So look, y'all. This is the kale plant that I'm just loving. We we took two leaves off of this yesterday and made some smoothies. So tender. So soft. So fresh. So beautiful. Just a look at it. This parsley I cut down to make spaghetti. And look how it grew back so beautifully. Uh, we got, I believe this is Brussels sprouts. Oh, I think it's too dry. Yeah, I could tell by the leaves. Kind of wilted a little will, bit that this is thirsty. Never be better, Dad. I need some water. Guys, look, nothing will be Jazzy, bring the hose over here. Bring the hose. Okay. This tomato plant is exciting because you see those flowers? Here comes the smith. This part right here, a tomato going to come out of this part right here. You see that? got flower look at that this is gonna be about you see this cluster right here this is gonna be about oh, about eight know. tomatoes right here Ooh, too close eight I tomatoes and then it's gonna be another probably eight up here and it's just gonna keep growing these tomato plants are so cool what kind is this sun sugar yellow cherry hybrid tomato talk about a salad honey we're gonna have some good salad with this but you know like I said the girls sometimes they don't even make it inside the house because the, the girls eat them off the vines before we even make them off the plant before we even make it in the house this is okay so this is a planter that's not doing nothing this is good because i need some space we need to plant some stuff in here and this is really just Mommy. a bin from walmart y'all it's a bin i put some holes in the bottom of them mommy mommy yes love Look at something growing out of this one. Out of the hole. Did you need me to spread? This? Yes, baby. The bubble? Yeah. Nice. That's a big one. I saw you, Jazz. You about to spray hold that water. <laughs> you about to spray that bubble. <laughs> so this one, look. Look at here. These are the, these plants are getting huge. What? These are the Brussels sprouts that are getting huge. But look at the green bean again. All the beans that I planted, something been eating them. Something been eating them. And here's the tomato here looking beautiful. And we're about to see some flowers. Yay! About to see some flowers. Let's see over here. Look at that. So pretty. It's getting crowded in here. Yeah, what are that real good? Especially that one. That one's very dry. When the leaves start like laying down a bit, I know that is going to be 
uh, it's just thirsty, it's dry. Like this, this lemon balm, I could tell it needs water. Uh oh, uh oh, okay. My hips did, didn't make it here, it knocked everything over just now. <laughs> All right, this one is kind of drooping a little bit. I could tell it wants water. Yes? Every time I see a bird scared, a bird jacked out of, mm -hmm. I'd be scared. You'd be scared? Because I don't want to poop on my head. Oh, okay, I understand that. Me this too. tomato is getting so big. This is the Roma tomato. It's getting Roma. so big. Look a at that. Roma. Beautiful. And you see that little cluster right there. We're about to have some tomatoes off of this one as well. Let me see if I can get focus here. Um, the one with the gel in it needs water. This is here. You want it? How could you be outside out here with all this beautiful sun? That's why I'm tired. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember that day. So let's peek into this bin, y'all. This is impressive. It's so pretty in here, too. All right. So I put this here to provide it some shade. But like I said, I'm going to get some more shade system. Because I felt like the sugar snap peas were getting too hot. But I got this from a dollar store, Dollar Tree. And I'm going to get another one. And take it to this one so it could be higher. But the sugar snap peas love it. And they're climbing up. See their hands grabbing onto it. You see right here? That's what I love about bees and bees. It's so pretty. And it's like they really have hands and arms. They they grow up and then they find something to, to grab onto and wrap around and they just keep climbing. But now they don't have nowhere else to climb. So they're gonna start leaning down. So I'm gonna put another one of these. I got another one. And tape it so that it's tall. Probably tape it to this stake right here. And so that the chicken that piece keep growing up. So we saw already the tomato plant right that's looking like it wants some look at the leaves kind of look like oh this this one's okay with water probably need a little more in a second but look at this look at this it's my spinach spinach garden right here y'all look how beautiful the spinach is wait a minute some stuff in here growing it's a weed back here Mm -hmm. look at that look how beautiful it is again it was too much sun so i put these these over it to give it some shade and it was so good the spinach started to really perk up but look at it yeah pretty it's like look at so i'm moving south the way so y'all can really see look at how beautiful the spinach is y'all want a lot of different greens what's going on here <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we're gonna be doing in the summer y'all <laughs> so uh oh uh oh they squaring off they squaring off uh oh they squaring off uh oh <laughs> all right so last but not least i have I have a bunch of recycling babies and stuff around in my garden that's been serving to isolate the plants that this started dude? to get some they got hands. Hmm? I mean, you don't got hands. Let's move like you got. Why is he walking like that? You now it's going to stop for the camera. That's not a little spider. Huh? It's waving. <laughs> it's waving at you. <laughs> so this right here oh, is waving. It's a strawberry and it's got oh, runners. No! I know, so baby. Karate. No, that's not the same one. This one right here, it's this is a whole nother strawberry plant right here. Why? This, this <laughs> one has spray. runners. No! And this <laughs> one is no, the spray nature. Two very spray basket nature. strawberry nature. that we I got from you. Home Depot. You remember that? It's so Mommy, pretty. I can't wait till the flowers come. Daddy, spray nature. Okay. Live little buggy. So, Live. so I said seriously, I'll it. wait for this to get a couple more leaves on it, and I'll I'm gonna cut this and make it a whole new strawberry plant. Ah, stra oh, the strawberry. Mm -hmm. I strawberry. Oh, that strawberry needs to come off. That was one. I knew there was some strawberries that grew. That needs to grow over there. Yep. Get it off? Yeah, it's already too ripe. Daddy, it's already too ripe now. Again. Hold on. Move Papa back. Move back. No, let them see first. Oh.
Yeah, so this is here already. Let me take that off. That needs to be rinsed first, but it's, it's already too rice. I know you look like you're about to take a bite. I just wanted to make sure these took for it to grow in the Caesar. Mm -hmm. but we, if we leave them on there too long and they overripe, that's when the bugs and the birds come, you know what I mean? Which is fine, but no, it's not. It's not stay, it's safe. And this is a rosemary right here that I'm going to plant in the ground because I want a lot of rosemary because groundhogs do not like rosemary. And I love rosemary not only in cooking but also in, um, in uh, hair. And skin oils that I make, blend that up in there. So I'm very excited about that. So, gonna, so this is just over here because it has some aphids on it, and I wanted to separate it. See, this one got the rinse. You see that? See the aphids on it on the stem. So this one gonna be sprayed. And then you're gonna put it back. It went on the the bug went on it. Did? Yeah. It's sliding off now. So the aphids, you can find them on the stem or the underneath the leaf. What happened? The leaf with the bug blew off. Yeah, blew off and it blew off. You all right, Maya? You okay? Oh, all I see is feet. All right, so we gotta rinse this one. And then put it back over here. We gotta keep rinsing them until they're done. You know what I mean? Until we see no. More but look like this one has it. Let me see if I see anything on this plant. This one looks pretty good. So this one looks pretty good. That's what we just keep doing. This is me after gardening. I still, I still feel myself kind of new still gardening. But um, this is me um, gardening and not really worried about bugs. Because I've learned so much and learned about how they live and what they what they eat and what their purpose is and when they come around, like for example, aphids, plants start eating like aphids come around and they start trying to eat your plant, like this one here, because the plant is stressed. So my job is to make sure the plant is not stressed, and if it is stressed, get it back to feeling good and happy and healthy. They just out here having a good old time, y'all. They just out here having a good old time. I don't got my running shoes. These are my garden stuff out the house. Just to get so, some grocery shoes. Yeah, so um, once I learn about that, I know that my job is not pay special attention to the plant, I'm just take good care of it, and then bring it back to feeling good. And then it won't it won't have the book problem anymore. This cilantro. I think this cilantro needs to move in the shade. I think it doesn't like... Because even when it, it... It's not too dry, but it's it changed color you know what i mean i think this is too dark so this needs to have a little shaded situation the more i come out the more i see what the plants need but what jesse don't be hiding <laughs> behind me get out of here mommy <laughs> don't be hiding behind me. Oh! <laughs> oh my god jazzy's such a cheater she gonna run in the house <laughs> okay all right all right that's enough maya all right, come on, come on. All right, come on. <laughs> All right, anyway, y'all, see y'all later. Thank you so much for hanging with us. Don't forget to come see us tomorrow at 12 o'clock. We're going to be talking about how to help your children, um, how to challenge your children and help them become self-motivated. We set that up, but we ain't got to do much because they already, they, they keep saying things like this. I did it already. I did it already. I'm ready. I finished already. I checked my work already. I did it. That's what we want. Instead of, I need help. I don't know how. I can't. Can you help me? We're not doing that. All right. So I'll see y'all tomorrow, 12 o'clock. That's Eastern Standard Time. Uh, if you're in the north, uh, for my people on the west coast, we well, see a three-hour di difference. I have students in Las Vegas and California. Right, that's a three hour difference. Okay, for, I said I have students in Illinois, or, or I did Illinois, right? That was a, a, a one hour difference, right? I got students from New York, same time as me. Okay, so we're, we're all over the place, but we're 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, all right, people, thank you so much for hanging. Mariah, thanks for hanging with us today. 
Y'all have a beautiful Friday. The kids are home today. They have four-day weekend. You see, they in here bugging out. <laughs> All right? Love y'all. See you tomorrow. Believe in yourself. Believe in your child. Always remember that growth is unlimited. Oh, I forgot. Um, don't forget to inquire about our tutoring coaching summer program to improve your child's behavior and learning from home. Uh, we have our first big it's, a big, it's a big boost during the summertime. So for, for they have four days of classes instead of three. That's how it works. All right. All right, y'all. More information on that, message me. All right. Or visit growthinstitute.mykajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I. Click on program services and fees and you can get all your information. All right. Love y'all. Talk to you soon. Peace.